For this demonstration, I have deployed Palo Alto VM series firewall from the OCI marketplace in its own VCN. Palo Alto has two interfaces, Trust and Untrust, in their own subnets as shown. In this video, we will cover two use cases. First, customers want to inspect all the outgoing traffic to the internet through Palo Alto. Second, customers have a publicly hosted application and want to inspect all the traffic from the internet to the server through Palo Alto. Virtual machines required are provisioned in the Spoke VCN. Both the VCNs are connected together by dynamic routing gateway. Now let's dive right into the demo. First, we will configure the OCI side. This is the Palo Alto virtual machine that I have provisioned. Let's click on the attached Vinix and then untrust Vinix. While creating this Vinix, I have selected ephemeral public IP to be assigned. Alternatively, you can also choose to reserve a public IP and then assign it to this Vinix. Now, I am in a subnet of Spoke VCN where the virtual machines are provisioned. Let's go into the route table. I have added a route rule to send all the traffic to the DRG. This step ensures that all the initiated or return traffic destined to the internet is sent to the DRG first. Now, I am in the Palo Alto VCN to configure the required routing. Let's go to Untrust Route table and add a route rule to send all the outgoing traffic to the internet gateway. Next, click on the Trust Route table and add a route rule to send traffic destined for the Spoke VCN to the DRG. Next step is to create a VCN route table for the Palo Alto VCN attachment. For all the traffic originating from the spoke VCN to the internet, add an stop as a trust interface. Now, let's attach this route table to the Palo Alto DRG attachment. OCI configuration is complete. Now let's move to the Palo Alto configuration on the Palo Alto. I have already configured appropriate security policies to allow the required traffic. Let's have a look at the routing configuration. Two route rules need to be added at the default router of Palo Alto. First, route rule to send all the traffic destined to the spoke VCN to the default gateway of the trust subnet. Second, route rule to send all the traffic towards the internet to the default gateway of the untrust subnet. Last step is to configure the NAT policies. First, we configure the source NAT policy required for the internal virtual machine to connect to the public internet. The original packet would be coming from the internal virtual machine which is trust zone and going out to the internet which is untrust zone. Destination address can be anything on the internet. Since the packet is going out to the internet, the source IP of the internal virtual machine needs to be translated to the untrust IP. Select translation type as dynamic IP and port. Select the address type as interface address and select the untrust interface.
Let's verify by doing a quick ping test from the internal virtual machine to the external website. As expected, ping test is successful. Now let's see in the Palo Alto logs if our NAT policy is working as expected. In the Palo Alto logs, I have already applied source address filter to be the internal virtual machine IP. Let's analyze the log. As seen from the logs, internal virtual machine IP is getting source translated to 10.0.1.100 which is our untrust IP. Now, let's move towards our next use case to configure a destination NAT policy required for the internet to reach the web server. The original packet would be coming from the internet which is untrust zone and will have the destination address of the untrust interface. Now, we want the packet to be translated to the IP of the web server so that OCI can route this packet to the destination based on the previously added routing configuration. Hence, select the static IP and add the web server IP address. Click OK and we have configured our destination NAT policy. I am going to disable the source NAT policy to verify the destination NAT configuration. To verify, I am trying to connect to the untrust public IP at port 80 from my local machine. We can see the configured web page. Now, let's check Palo Alto logs. We can see that the traffic to the untrust interface is being destination translated to the web server IP. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com. Thank you for watching the video.